Hey, you too, you too. What's going, going on, everybody? It's your boy Tamer from Credit Kingdom. Once again, with another video of 2022. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. I've been extremely busy. A lot's been going on with me. Uh, you know, just everyday life, you know. So I just, I just been um, updated on the channel. So I see I still been getting a lot of new subscribers. So I appreciate you all for the constant support and likes and sharing another video. So I really do appreciate that from you all. So sorry about the voice. You know, I'm just getting over a cold. Uh, hopefully I get my voice back soon. Been like this for like a week. So today we will be discussing um, pretty much where I left off at zombie that. And so a lot of people had questions like, how do this actually work and how can I actually get it reported to my personal or business credit? And one of the things I would like to say is that um, you have to make sure you get your documents um, pretty much notarized to make your documents more, you know, um, legit and provable. So once you do go buy some debt, it's um, varies a website that you can go go to and buy debt from. Um, I know a lot of you all are familiar with debt catchers, and pretty much you have to be careful with that website as well, because it's a lot of a scam. It's just like a, you know, an eBay. They got a lot of different vendors that can sell you pretty much some crap on there. So of course, you know, you buy some, you buy some debt. So say like, you gotta, even though they say, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So for example, I signed up for debt catch. They had like, like the monthly plans that you can get. Like I did the $20 a day cause I was skeptical myself. So I'm like, let me get the twenty dollars a day. So I pay twenty dollars for the day, and pretty much you get to browse through um all the debt. And pretty much the one of the red flags that came across to me was that they only had one page. So an actual legit business that sells like zombie debt, they gonna have more than just one page of debt. So that's what I kind of noticed. That was a red flag. I'm like, hmm, it don't sound too good. But then I came across something that was like 500K mortgage for like, you know, $500. And I'm like, hey, that ain't that ain't too too good in itself. So it just, um, it was just suspicious to me. Uh, but then I did, I did come across a, a debt. It was like a $10,000 credit card debt for like $300. So I said, like, hey, okay, let me take the chance on it. So I bought the debt or whatnot. I got the... Um, the debt update letter, the debt reassignment letter, and things like that. So you they email you everything, including with the person with the person um personal information it was. So you get everything and you're thinking everything is all good. And I'm considering this probably happened to me because I was just sitting on it. I didn't do nothing with it. I just let it sit. And then what happens that's why I say you have to be careful. Um it's pretty much a two for one for them. Let's pretty much try to get you into a, a scare tactic. So like I said, I bought the debt and I just pretty much didn't do nothing with it. Cause I still have, I'm like, let me do some more research. And I kept research, research. And then next thing you know, they say public records show a lawsuit has been filed against you. And pretty much they show you what, um, if you got a lawsuit, they can, they can make you suffer a judgment. They garnish your paycheck. And probably they could put a lien against you if you have any like personal property, like an auto loan, a house. They could put a lien and come and take that for you. So, and I'm thinking like, hey, I knew it was it was just something fishy about it. Um, so basically, you you bought the debt right for three hundred dollars in my case, and then you get this this fucking paperwork out of nowhere just saying, hey, you being sued for this debt. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> so it's like, now you you are you are panicking and you're just trying to figure out what's going on. And it's like, damn, I just purchased some debt. How the fuck I'm being sued? So it's like, now they, then they give you all the specific places, websites, phone numbers, the contact, right? So now you're like, damn, let me call these people. And she's like, and they already know what's going on. So now you've been tricked and to have to pay up some more money. So it's just all a business, you know, for these people. And that's why I say, you know, do your due diligence, do your research, 
before you even get involved with stuff like this because I mean it, it's nothing. It was just a scare tactic that they try to, you know, get over on get over on us with well, especially me. And that's why I say when you're talking to these people and you conversate with these people, they they're trying to see how much you know and see what you if you really know what you're doing or not. So they can, you know, play these games over you. But, you know, I was pretty much smarter than that. I didn't pay no mind. I'm taking this as a, a experience, a life lesson. So now um, I'm just going to be strictly dealing with um, the primary source. And the primary source is the bank itself. So if, if a bank have, you know, debt that's past the statute of limitation, what they going to do? They just going to go sell it to a third party debt collector. So how come, let me be that. How come you make your, you put yourself in position like, hey, let me call this bank and speak with their debt, with their debt um, department and see what type of debt that they have on file. So rather than, again, play it by third party, you now become a become a primary source as well. You don't have to go to no third party. You go to the first source of the bank. You buy some debt. They give you all the same thing pretty much. And then you take it from there. You get your form. And just how, and just like the debt collection agency, how they can assign it on your credit and make it a negative account, you can pretty much um, reverse that um, by getting these forms, like I said, notarized. And you can change the payment amount. You can pretty much change the date it was open, the date it was closed. Um, you can sign it to yourself and you can sign it to your business with the all good payment history. And another thing, too, if you already have, like, little small credit card debt, you know, you get these these um, collection agents sending you letters saying, hey, we'll settle for this amount. We'll take 40% less than what you originally owed. So then what you can turn around and do say, hey, I, will, I just want to buy back my own debt and say, hey, they, they probably won't come on some more money from you, of course. Um, it's, all, it's all part of the business. So you pretty much buy back your own debt and you get these forms and the same way they um, get these forms notarized and they file it with the Secretary of State into the public record system, the all three of the credit bureaus are going to pick it up. So Experian, TransUnion, Equifax. So they gonna pick up all the information. And then it's the system, the eOscar system, gonna pretty much assign it to, um, cause all your information is already in the system. So they talk to the, the system software they know the code that, that's being um, inputted with your name, your address, your social security card, your date of birth. So once all that get picked up with these forms, it's going to get placed um, on your credit profile. And I can't really, it's another way if you want to just bypass all that too. I'm not sure if you've all heard of the Metro 2 system. But you all can go buy the Metro 2 system yourself and become a um, debt buyer um, and debt seller. And then if you have to software yourself, you pretty much, you have to learn learn the codes and things like that in a, um, in a software. And when you buy this debt, you can pretty much buy your own debt, buy other people's debt, and you can transfer it to, like I said, your business or your personal because now you are an actual <clears throat> vendor that can actually, is legitimate, can post these type of trade line, negative or positive. But um, Equal Facts, TransUnion, Experian, they require for you to have a certain amount of account. So I think Equifax is require you to have like 500 accounts. Um, I forget, Experian probably like 200 something, and TransUnion probably another like 500 accounts. So you have to keep, you have to buy these portfolios of debt um, from these um, banks or third party collection agencies, and then you have to really know what you're doing with the um, with the Metro Two software as well, so you don't want to mess anything up. So it's a it's a learning process if you want to just go ahead and just hey, I'm just gonna make this to my per business. This is what I'm going to do. You could do that as well, and also you have to pay monthly to the credit bureaus to even report to them as well. So even though you have to buy these accounts, you have to go pay them like $50 every month or so, or you can pay like a yearly fee to them 
for in order to um keep reporting these to Trey Lance account. So uh, yeah, if you are the form, you can find the forms. If you just want to look at the forms, I'll leave I'll leave the link in the description below for the debt assignment letter and the debt update letter. And like I said, anybody can be a notary. notary. So even your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your cousin, your friend, they go down there and they pay a little fee, and they can be they just a notary. So now they can stamp and sign off on your document to show that's actually true and legit. And then you take those forms. Like I say, go to your secretary of state, and just get put in the public 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 records. And that's why, um, when every time someone start a business, they have to file file it with the secretary of state. And that's how you know your business is true and legit because it's because it get put into the the system as a, a legal entity. Just the same with the documents, same as the UCC one, UCC threes, all of. All of it's the same. It just once you get everything, you can start to learn how to, you know, put everything together, and it all makes sense. So, I just wanted to tell you all that information real quick. So it's a lot more that goes with this as well. I know it sounds like it's complicated, but you have to take it um, one step at a time. You have to understand one thing before you try to understand the next thing. So that's what a lot of people get confused at too. They try to understand everything at once, and it really doesn't work like that. So, like I said, I appreciate you all for keep um, supporting the channel, like and subscribing. Make sure um, you tell your other people, friends about about this Credit Kingdom channel. And yeah, I I make another video um, talking about um, what happens after this as well. So I keep you all updated. Stay safe. God bless.